Now, see, here's a piece of paper that measures eight and a half by 11 inches. One plain little piece of paper. What I'm, we're going to try to figure out how to do is to cut holes in it so it looks like that. But wait, that's impossible because there's a hole there and a hole there, but there's no cut down here. Right. Now, the reason why it looks impossible is because of the way you sort of think about things. You're making the assumption that this surface and that surface are both the same, and this surface and that surface are both the same. And that's one of the things that in science you have to sort of prevent yourself from doing. Don't jump to conclusions. And I've done that in a special way to make you think that. Now, I'll give you a clue. Look at this one. Here is the same sort of piece of paper, right? But on one side it's plain and on the other side it's got stripes on it. If I will turn my back and make a few little adjustments and come back, that should give you a clue. Take a look at it now. What do you see? Well, this, this side matches this part right. because they're both blank. Mm -hmm. And if you turn it around, this part march, matches this part because mm -hmm. they're both straight. Okay. So that means that surface and that surface are what? Um, they're shifted around. They're Two not different surfaces, right. So how are you going to do that then? Yeah, well, it looks like you'd have to turn it upside down. Somehow. Yeah. have to flip this. Okay, here's how you do it. You get a piece of paper like that, and I've drawn, you draw a line sort of down the middle like this, and then cut it from there, and then make these two lines like this and like this, and cut where I have it dotted. Go ahead. Okay. Notice you're making all the cuts on the same surface. One. Two. Three. Now along the solid line, make a fold. Bring this piece up and fold it that way. That's kind of the normal way. You say, hey, that makes some sense, right? Now, what did you say we had to do with one surface? Turn it upside down. Okay, turn one surface upside down. Now fold it the other way. And there you are. Right? Impossible holes. Impossible holes. Congratulations. You just made two impossible holes.